the beginning. Because, I mean, we know about the decision to hold over some of the episodes in season two into season three. Oh, how does that change the writing process? I mean, because we're looking at what would have been the season two finale, now, like, you know, episode four of season three. How did that change for you guys? It was banana pants. Well, the funny thing is, it didn't actually, it didn't actually change the story at all. We had broken an 18 episode arc. Yeah. What it did was put us in a position of, okay, we have four more episodes. We sort of saw this as a bonus. And we're like, listen, we're going to go crazy with these episodes. Like, we're, we're going to go standalone, but like, we're going to introduce a new story. We're going to change our characters a bit in it. And we're going to like, we're going to play with format and a whole bunch of stuff. And they're awesome, and the, the standalone thing is almost deceptive because they start story for a number of our characters. I my hope is when people watch them, they'll is that a standalone or is right. it, maybe that hopefully because, they will be, yeah. will be glaring. And, yeah, because they're they all and also since we since we could put them sort of wherever we wanted in this season, we we put them in and then had a repercussion in the next you know reaction mm -hmm. to what happened in that previous episode in the next episode. So they don't feel. So our, fir our first two episodes pick up directly from, and then our third episode is our first standalone, and then we have a couple others, and then and then you'll never know. You'll find out. You'll find out. <laughs> right. Well, we hear, we heard up. that uh, we have a new cast member that we're welcoming. We do. We do. Oh, spoiler! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize they hadn't told you yet. No, 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 no. Like we didn't have enough surprise. Candy. Yeah, right. I know, right? <laughs> we just were like, you know what? We really need somebody beautiful on yeah. the show. By the way, we've been terrified the last last couple days. Like we've never had to really keep a big secret. This was not easy. This was not. This was terrible. So like, there was a moment where I'm like, I can talk about this now, right? I can. We are so excited to have Tom. He is awesome. And uh, so sweet. Yeah. I mean, all the thing, I don't know. If it, I guess we when, when we were talking about casting, we we're like, do you think he'll do it? You know, we. Were, <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, we were like, bored. and then. Literally, people came out of the woodworks to tell us how lovely he is and just what a kind, humble, like hard worker, professional, and none of it's true. Yeah. Um, it's all so true. It's a, he's the nicest guy. And, so and what's fun is we're going to play him against type. Like, I think what drew him to the role is this isn't his role in Smallville. This is very different. This is a chance for him to show off. I, I'm a huge Smallville fan. I know what the range he has. This is a chance to show that off. Works out. Right? He's got an edge. How's his relationship going to be with Lucifer? What's that? How's his relationship going to be with Lucifer? Is it adversarial or? It will have many um, movements. <laughs> of movements? the bowel mate, no way. Weird. Had to go there. Uh, and, and how often will the shirts be written out of the seat? <laughs> <laughs> Why would we even write them in? I like the way you're thinking. Oh, we already have that written in the script. <laughs> so, to your question, uh, Lieutenant Marcus Pierce is the new big man on campus to a certain extent. Our, our cast, like, the, the, the characters in the precinct get along well. Like, they have their conflicts, obviously, but, like, this is this is a tightly knit team. It's almost a family. He's going to come, come in and blow shit up. <laughs> and they'll have, yeah. and they'll have, they'll have different, you know. At, at first, it'll be, it'll be just he's, he's kind of this tough detective, and then as he starts to kind of have his eye on, on Miss Decker, that's not gonna uh, sit well. Not gonna sit well with Lucifer. Can you talk about Lucifer again? Is missing, and like people don't know where he is. So how has that kind of changed the whole team dynamic as the season begins? That's a great question. Well, without spoiling. Um, so here's he's, what happens in Act One. Oh. Uh, <laughs> scene one, interior. <laughs> um, he uh, he hasn't been gone as long as perhaps you might think. So uh, so even though his wings are back, um, how long did it take to grow them? A very short time. So uh, so. And what does that say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does that say? So do we get some explanation? Is that what you're saying, or are we left? Uh, that's really. I can say this: that the premiere episode is 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 him solving, trying to solve that mystery. Oh, okay. Who took me? He knows. He's like, Dad is behind this for mm -hmm. sure. Of course. Who is his emissary? He doesn't like to get his hands dirty. He doesn't like to, you know. He doesn't whack guys in the back of the head by himself. Right. So who is his emissary? I'm gonna find that man, woman, demon, angel, whatever, uh -huh. and figure out what my dad's up to and uh, send him a message back. That's kind of episode one. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a pure musical episode? 
Yeah. We, uh, I want that so badly. <laughs> the bottom of my soul. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm not sure it's a season, but it will get there. Yeah. Well, we have, we were told that there's um, some night, uh, Sinatra and some Vegas showgirls coming. and That is coming. Um, that, that episode will air before uh, Christmas. Okay. Well, say exactly when. Um, <laughs> but, uh, never, who knows? Who <laughs> says? So, yeah, there, there's, there's a case in Las Vegas that they have to go solve, and it, it becomes part of a sting operation to uh, basically call the bad guy out by doing this big Vegas number. So Ella gets to dance as the showgirl, and of course Lucifer is the, is the man on the mic. And it's it's truly my favorite moment of, of, of television. I cried when I saw the rehearsal. I cried as Tom and, and, and Amy. I was crying. Wait, who, so did he, happy. who did he meet in Vegas last time he was in Vegas? His wife. His wife. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's right. Uh, so going back is uh, so we have a recurring an interesting character? thing. Uh, that's interesting. She was pretty good. She was pretty good. She was pretty good. Yeah. Lindsay Ford. You yes, talk awesome. about season two as like an eighteen episode arc. What are we looking forward to? Like have you are you writing it as a full story? Like what do you have in mind for this season as far as arcs go? We we've been structuring it as sort of a, in three acts right now. And so we're building towards our, our ten episode arc of, um, of the fall, and then the two other acts. And so we've got the sort of like our roadblocks. And one of the things we like to do is we have the point. This is where we're headed to, but we are ready for a swerve if all of a sudden you come up with a better idea, or all of a sudden you start to see something happening on screen, and you're like, "Whoa, that's cool. We should play with that." So we have it's a three uh, three act play to a certain extent, but like the, the fun of it is. It's jazz, you know. You want to be, you want to be ready to dance. Like you want to be ready to go. Oh, this is really working. Or Billy comes in and she's like, "What about this?" And you're like, "Well, that blows everything up." But that's <laughs> awesome. And Billy's like, "No, no, no." That's what happens. I go, "Here's an idea." No. 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 It's my favorite yes, word. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, so, how does she feel safe again? Ah. That's a good question. She does. We actually worked uh, just on an episode where she has to really face what happened to her. Um, the strange part about it is that she's a therapist who helps other people through grieving, things like that, PTSD, you know, traumatic experiences. So she thinks she knows how to do it for herself. But what she's missing is someone to help her through it. She's missing the, the her in the equation. And so she finds someone uh, who can who helps her through it. It's me. Oh. <laughs> 